All right, guys, what's going on? We back at it again. Another video. Guys, look, check this out. Right here for this next haircut, I'm gonna make it pretty quick. No vloggy vloggy on this one. I've been making some promises that I have not been able to keep, but just to let you know, I'm on it though. Y'all see that, right? I'm working on it, I promise you. For those that know what I'm talking about, this is the, uh, the whole how to install the Babulous Blade to your wall clippers video i was going to include it as a just a quick segment in the beginning of this video as i started recording because i'm not even done as i started recording i started realizing this video is going to take a minute because it's so much that i want to show you guys and i don't i don't want to miss making a dope video uh by just rushing it so yet again i'm postponing it but the difference is i've started doing it but in other news, let's talk about this video. This client. The person I'm cutting on this video is my brother-in-law, Justin. This is probably the third time I've ever cut him in my whole barber career. Uh, the first time I remember was in barber school towards the end. I think it was probably... That's me. That's him. That's not the best haircut. But let's not talk about that right now, guys. This haircut was a while back for his birthday. Cutting anywhere that's not your station sucks. You don't have the barber chair. You don't have the best lighting, like, at all. Your tools are not where you want them to be. Your back might hurt a little bit, you know what I'm saying? It's gonna hurt, because you're gonna have to do all this. Then you're gonna have to tell Whoever you're cutting, hey, stand up real quick, turn that way. Another thing about this cut is that I didn't use the GoPro, so we only have one angle, guys. That's different. I don't do one angle. I don't think I've ever, have I ever done one angle for my tutorial videos? I don't find them fun. I don't find them interesting. Uh, I find them slightly boring because it's just one angle. I have a short attention span. That's what it is, and that's why I make the videos that, that I make, okay? So, one angle. Enjoy. Now, when he came in, his hair was a little bit dirty. Devonda was the one that washed his hair. I don't wash my client's hair. We never wash our client's hair, actually, <laughs> at work. We don't, we have a, wa a wash station. I should, though. I don't know. What do you guys do? Do you guys wash your client's hair at work? I don't. I think in the four years that I've been there, I've done it maybe a handful of times it's not the norm at all i would like to though but then that means that i have to change around my slots that i have for each client i mean i'm pretty sure shampoo shouldn't even take that long now what i'm doing right here is starting the guideline the bald guideline now guys come in come in listen to me listen to me when it comes to burst fades i've had to learn to be very very careful with the bald guideline you're telling yourself, man, I want this thing to be blurry. Let me bring that bald guy line a little bit higher because I just want it real light. No, you don't want to do that. <laughs> I've done that. And your clients end up looking like Mr. T. There's no blend, just dark to light. There's, there's nothing in between. There's no transition. There's no, what's that other word a lot of uh, people like? Gradients. There's no gradients. So keep your bald guy line as low as possible. I mean, sometimes I think that was high, but you know, it turned out pretty well. He liked it. Now, I got the number two guard first, but I do remember coming back with the number three. So, you know, it just happens, guys. And this is the reason I came back with the number three, because with the number two, I just went off the ridge. I didn't go in, and it got to a point where it was still a little bit too dark. So I grabbed the number three to come back and kind of lighten that up a little bit by going slightly in. But yeah, with the number two, I'm just going off the shape of the head. I'm not going inward. I'm just bouncing off the shape of the head. I'm going off the ridge. Hey, yo, who made this? J hits on the beat.
So looking at this reminds me of the first time I cut his hair. And not only his hair, but other clients that have similar hairstyles and hair density. I remember how careful I have to be when I cut his hair because there's not a lot of density. It's so easy to use the wrong guard and it looks so much lighter. Like a number one will look like almost a half because he doesn't have so much hair density. You have to be super careful when you deal with this type of, like when this type of hair is long, it looks like it's full, there's a lot of ground covered. As you go shorter with this type of hair, it's just tricky when it comes to the fades. Like the smallest mistake can really set you back. There are hair types that you just have a little bit more room to play with. This is not the haircut that you have room to play with. You gotta be careful with this. This is like disarming a bomb. You ready? Okay, so by this time right here, I wanted to get started with the with the lineup. Even though I knew that there were certain parts that were still a little dark, as you can see, let me zoom in a little bit. Zoom in a little bit right there, fine. And I know I'm gonna come back with the trimmers, right? Let me just take the time also to say, for the new barbers that feel like, damn, you know, the blend has to be completely done and blurred out before I line it up, not true not true at all you know get as far as you can get through the process get through the system line it up and then come back so don't be down on yourself do the best that you can get through the system line that man up or woman up and you know go on from there okay Ladies and gentlemen, this is this is the fun part right here. We're about to get into this beard life. Check this out. Justin came raw style. It seems like he hasn't had a line up in quite a while, guys. But before we get started, we're gonna go ahead and pick the beard out. Don't forget to comb through your client's beards. In this case, being that it's tight curly hair, we're using a pick, okay? We're using a pick. We're gonna go through it a few times. I did pick it out, shape it up, pick it out, shape it up, pick it out, shape it up in that order. Now for the taper, we're gonna keep it as high as possible. I tried my best. I think the highest guard that I used was about a number two, and I used it both with and against the grain. And you'll see what I'm talking about soon. The main objective, the main goal of this beard is to keep it as full as possible. And with clients that want you to keep it as full as possible, you have to A, make sure that taper's high, and B, make sure that lineup is no lower than the lip line right here the end of the lip because once it goes lower than that you failed now nah, i'm not gonna say you failed but you have uh you have uh chartered into unwanted territory you don't want to go there so when a client tells you keep it as high as possible and they have it to where you can keep it up to the lip line or higher just follow that path okay
Okay guys, you see right here, a decision had to be made, a serious one. Do you see that mustache? Would you call that a mustache? Let me know in the comments below. As a matter of fact, if you consider that a mustache, what guard would you run? To even it out, what guard would you use? Okay, that's for y'all, that question is for y'all. But for me, oh man, you going straight Dominican style, brother. We are keeping the beard. No mustache. Okay, shout out to all my Dominicans. There was no way you were gonna keep that mustache, Justin. I'm sorry. It had to go. Alright, by this time you guys already know, I'm using Tune 45 Shave Gel, shout out to Tune 45. And as I'm doing this other side of his beard, clearly does not look just like the other side. The other side was crispy. And, and this is the irritating part about doing beards, is that sometimes they don't come out the same. And if this was a shop, I think I would have taken extra time to figure it out, but man, it was hot. And by this time I do remember, I was ready to be done because this was a free cut okay this is a free cut that's my brother-in-law i ain't gonna charge my brother-in-law would y'all charge your brother-in-law i mean i guess it depends you know if if you're at the shop and then they come often um uh then that's different he doesn't come he does i mean this i think this is the third time that he's come to me um but i don't know you know i i know I, I don't think i don't think i've ever charged him from all the times that I've cut him, I don't think I've ever charged him. Um, it just doesn't, I mean, it's my brother-in-law. I don't know, what y'all what think? Let me know. Now, I'm not saying do it for everybody though. You can't give that treatment to everybody because you ain't gonna make no money out here, okay? I'm just saying that's my brother-in-law, but don't be out here doing feeling that same way for everybody, okay? J hits finna drop the f bass. differently about it now? I don't think anybody has to take the court anymore. I didn't. Shut up. Alright guys, that's the cut right there. That's it for today guys. I, I'm, I kept it simple. What do, what do y'all think about the one angle versus the two different angles that I normally do? It was different, right? I think so. Anyways, guys, be on the lookout for the next video. I will have it done. You will see how I installed this Babylon's Blade on the wall clippers. It's gonna be dope. Be on the lookout. Make sure you subscribe. If you're not subscribed, you are subscribed now. Make sure you hit the like button, hit that notification, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.